How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and if I look exhausted, I am. I worked on my Mustang all day today installing some parts and it's becoming an absolute monster and that video will be out later this week but I haven't done a subscriber roast in a minute and since I am exhausted, what a better time to relax and roast some people. As you can tell, I'm in the roasting mood by having the red lights behind me. That means I'm angry, you know, it's a it's a metaphor for my feelings. Anyways, these cars were sent to me, so if you're really sensitive and you get butt hurt about people joking around, then uh, probably click off or unplug your keyboard so you can't be butt hurt in the comments. But these people sent me their cars, they know I'm gonna roast them. And if you sent me someone else's car, that's on you. If you want your car in this video, let's get this video to 6,000 likes, and then I'll do another subscriber roast, and then you can submit your car to my email, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com, Put in the subject bar, I hit like, roast me please, and it should end up in a video. Eventually, I do get a lot of submissions. But anyways, without further ado, no script, no nothing, let's go ahead and take a look at what you guys sent me. Judge my mini truck. Already disappointed. Mini trucks are, eh, I know a lot of people like them and stuff, and like, I have seen cool mini trucks, but uh, this wouldn't fall under that category. It does appear to be a survivor, but just like most survivors, eventually they'll perish. R.I.P. Betty White. Everyone has an expiration date. And this one's already starting to fall apart. The more you look at it, the worse it gets. By the way, bumpers aren't literally meant to bump shit. So maybe don't do that next time. Looking at you, ain't a bumper car. Learn to drive. This one says he hit like. It's a 2005 Roush Mustang 5-speed. Ooh. Says it has a Paxton blower on it. Cool. You boosted that 300 horsepower to now maybe 350 wheel horsepower, which is saying something. But these motors are only rated for 400, 450 wheel. So you're not pushing big boy numbers yet. Brand new A10 right off the lot is going to smoke you. Um, and let's see if I'm right. With just a guess, I was pretty damn close. 435 horsepower and 393 torque. Congrats, you now make as much horsepower as a bone stock 5.0. Although sad to say, you're on that five speed. You're gonna be seeing a lot of S550 taillights in the future, so get used to it. This is the thing about photography too. You can hide a lot. Look at how nice the car looks here. And then you see this fucking photo and it looks like a completely different car. Never trust photography and never trust an Instagram thought. You see him in person, completely different bitch. Lesson learned to all you car guys out there. A lightly modified 370Z. I knew I was going to be bored tonight, but I didn't think I would be this bored. He did what everyone else does. Bumpers, the Nismo style wing, trumpet ass exhaust, and then the Nismo five spoke wheels. Whoever painted your bumper to match it to your car is obviously blind. That shit looks gray. The rest of your paint looks white. The rear, fucking same thing. Wherever you went that had a hundred dollar paint job special, go back and get your money back. That bitch don't match. I could, I mean, we're standing 15 feet away in this photo. Clearly can tell that shit don't match. In person, it's probably even worse. I look at this photo and I just think of all of the poor people in your city who aren't going to be able to sleep tonight with your fucking marching band ass car driving around. If I wanted to stay up all night and listen to some really annoying sounds, I would just hit up your mom again. Yep, or doing jokes like that this episode. Dude, what's up with these fucking mini trucks? This one looks even worse than the last one. This car looks like an 18 year old got their hands on some old crackhead's old fucking whip. Dude probably bought it off of him for like a hundred bucks and a blowjob too. Like, look, I could tell you already didn't know much about cars just because of your vehicle of choice, but you didn't have to slap two Donut Media stickers on there as well. No shade at Donut Media. It's a joke. We're, what, four cars in and I already regret making this episode? Mazda 3. Cool. Nice. Ducktail. Sporty. Aftermarket badges. Looks like a fucking heart. Or my nutsack pointed up towards the sky, teabagging someone. Like, whoever told you that Mazda logo looks so much more manly? It's a heart. I'm, it, it's a heart, but Manly might not even be his thing. He's got fucking purple and blue interior pieces. Do you want a suction cup dildo to stick to your forehead too while you drive around so you feel like a pretty unicorn? If you're gonna gut it, why, why'd you buy a sedan? It's the most unpractical vehicle ever. And it's people like this who are still paying six bucks a gallon for gas. God, what a time we live in. I bet you regret that 91 flash tune that you had to get did absolutely fucking nothing. Hopefully the weight reduction makes it feel somewhat quick because that's about all you did to this thing. What? Where are people sending their fucking cars from? Russia today? Everything's in the snow and everything's a piece of shit. 2020 SI. He said he traded it in for the Audi S3. Downgrade or upgrade? What do you guys think? 
Enki wheels. Okay, whatever. Black roof. Sick, man. So dope. So did you trade the STI for the S3 or the S3 for the STI? Because you sent me more photos of the STI than the S3. Both of them just as boring, but I mean, those wheels were definitely not the move. If you traded the STI for this, do yourself a favor. Don't resubmit it once you start modding it. It's already disappointing. I can't see this being fixed. I am permanently scarred by how disgusting those fucking Ninja Star wheels look. Just making my day worse. An egg. I don't know what salesman at Volkswagen is tricking you guys into saying that these are sports cars, but that dude is getting fucking paid mega commission on the amount of sales that he's got going on. These things are fucking everywhere. Every like college guy has one of these. I can't think of a single vehicle I would rather not own than this. The day I buy a Golf GTI is the day I fucking deactivate everything on social media and just go back to doing nothing. I would be at my lowest point is what I'm trying to say. Like look at this shot right here. He is trying so hard to make it look cool and I just see a minivan. It's not a minivan, but I see it in this shot. It is shaped like a minivan, just smaller. It's a mini minivan, but it's your sports car, right? Sick. I like hatchbacks, but not this one. Coming to an intersection near you, the G37 sedan, <laughs> the takeover mobile. I think more people have been killed by G37 sedans within the last couple years of takeovers than they have with firearms. Like these things are deadly, at least in the technically wrong hands, I should say. Seems like anyone who owns an Infiniti just can't drive. They also just have bad taste in motors too because, I mean, they got a WRX right next to it. Both guzzling oil. One of them, you get a two for one. You get head gaskets with it. Which sedan, though, is more disappointing? If I had to choose one of the two, I would take the STI, leave it bone stock, and just pray to God the head gasket doesn't go out. I am not taking the car with the number one most hated exhaust note in probably the whole car scene. Like no one really clowns on Hondas on sounding bad anymore. It is Nissans and Infinities, and rightfully so. It's pretty bad when you overtake Honda for most hated. But whatever, wheels and lowering springs, sick build, keep it up. I'm gonna mimic like what other YouTubers do when um, their subscribers come up to them with like shitbox cars. I'm gonna mimic how they react. Oh, bro, this is your core right here. This is. Wow, dude, this is sick, man. The early Accords, they don't make them like this anymore. Wow, oh, I see you did some wheels on it. Sick, man. Oh, you got the automatic? You know what? Driving in a manual, it gets annoying, you know? It gets annoying, so I don't really doubt you for going with the automatic. You know, it is your daily driver. I don't really doubt that. Sick sticker bomb, man. What are we in, 2012? It's super sick, man. I love that. Wow, the pool noodles, too? The great touch, man. It really makes everything just come together. Like, you know, you're just you're just really just like going to town on this build and making it your own. And you're having fun doing it, it seems like. You're having fun. I love it. The K&N. Oh, how, did you feel the difference? Do you absolutely feel the difference? I, I, I tossed one in my car. And I thought, I thought that for some reason AutoZone accidentally sold me a supercharger. I couldn't believe it. I was like, dude, this is the same car. It sounded way better. It was instant torquey, man. I was blowing axles off every day. Oh, this is how it looked when you first got it? Wow. Yeah, dude, that's totally not a fire hazard at all. That's, dude, you should be an electrician. You know how to wire up stuff better than it. In fact, you know what? You want to come over and work on my cars? I think it'd be great. Wow, yeah, oh, dude, you know what? Those high flow, like, bumper cutouts, people be docking them sometimes, but I low-key like them. I low-key think they're kind of sick, you know? It's like, you know, it's a huge, like, parachute on the back. So I 100% agree with you cutting holes in your in your Accord, and then it just transforms into a minivan. I don't know why other YouTubers, I'm not throwing shade at anyone in particular, so don't be like, oh, he's totally tossing shade at someone. But other YouTubers seem to just love to just, like, kiss people's asses and not be real with them. <laughs> Not only do I see that as a gigantic fire hazard, but at the same time, it's like there are some questionable things here, as we can agree on. Um, the whole engine bay needs to go. Like, what, whatever you did here, anything you touched, undo it. And it, just leave it. Just leave it. You know, just keep your engine bay looking clean. Wipe off the fucking dust when it gets there. And don't put pool noodles on things. If you want to fucking do the interior, whatever. If you want to do the little lights, whatever. If you want to put the steering wheel cover on, sure. I don't really care. You can do whatever you want to your car at the end of the day. It's just some things just, they don't work anymore. The, the, the style's gone. It's like people who wear like the swag hats and the you know, YOLO and stuff. It's kind of outdated, you know? Same with sticker bombing. And uh, same with this car, quite frankly. So let's move on. 1995 Chevrolet Corvette. Dude, this is crazy. Never seen a build like this before. Oh, wait. Here here they are. They're, here they are. Yep. Bone stock. 
See, don't leave it looking musty like this guy. This guy probably doesn't even wipe his own ass. I mean, if his engine bay is this dirty, well, how do his cheeks look? Do you think he's really spreading them in the shower and letting the water flow through? Highly unlikely. You go and you take a whiff of that, you're passing out, 100%. You go <laughs> fucking blind from it. Don't recommend, don't do it. You have to sign a waiver before you go try that. BMW M4. How much are these? And they lose to like just about everything on the road? On the road. I did say on the road. I didn't say on the track. I said on the road. So fucking watch your mouth, BMW fanboys. I know you guys are some of the most toxic people in the car scene, but he threw on BBS wheels. I mean, they're they're nice, I guess, but kind of do look cheap at the same time. But they're nice. You know, BBS is, you know, can't really hate on them. Um, he's got it in the uh, golden shower R. Kelly color. So if you like your car looking like a bunch of piss right here, perfect color for you. And then he's got a... Uh, Snake eyes or, or die underneath the hood. Die? Dice? Die. What's plural of dice? Is it die? Anyways, he's got fucking testicles hanging from his rear view mirror. So, um, cool. Yeah, totally ties the whole car together. Ugh. Sick, man. Dope. RSX. Love it. Um, yeah. Thanks for submitting your car. Just cold air intake, you know? Why do anything else? why touch anything you already got the billet oil cap the billet dipstick and the amazon air intake so build complete don't even bother cleaning off anything else underneath the hood because we're just focusing on what's important here this would be the equivalent of just taking a shower and only washing your schlong more power to you you know got a plan for certain events right you know your boyfriend might be coming over yeah no you should probably clean everything though while you're in there maybe not not, not just a spray painted valve cover that's chipping majorly probably didn't prep that correctly but what do i know right uh you know just a just a goofball just a weirdo honestly doesn't look that bad on the outside all right this one said he hit like all right let's break it down build list front lip slash splitter sick you do need downforce it is a front wheel drive car why not have more downforce sick um it is a ek hatch which is one of the cars i was looking at on the enki rpf1 wheels super cookie cutter on these hondas but why reinvent the wheel right uh, he claims it's a type r um i guess we can check but i fucking doubt it he has tire lettering so you know right off the bat not looking so good for him underneath the hood it does have like the type r red valve cover it is a non-turbo honda b series so a little disappointing there it does look clean from the side but only if you have like $500 in your bank account, because that's just about all you can afford then. I can't believe people, and I mean, there's still probably people out there that are just brainwashed enough to think that this is like cooler than a Lamborghini, but people out there see this and are like, yeah, I'd take that any day of the week over an event door. Are you fucking kidding me? You would take this any day of the week over an event door. I fucking doubt it. That's called denial for being broke. I don't have an event door. And I don't have an EK hatch. So I can tell which one right away I would take. The Aventador. I have two very similar cars to both. I mean, I have the, the McLaren. And then I have the EG hatch. But I would fucking sell the EG hatch tomorrow to pay for a mod to fix. Not a mod, but a repair to fix the McLaren. So that's cap. True. You're just not true JDM, bro. You're just, you yeah. know. No, I wouldn't sell my Supra. That's different fucking honda's going if something like that happens it's not gonna because i take care of my shit you know i'm not out here busting transmissions or anything knock on wood oh, that's glass i'll have to find something anyways 2006 corvette it says supercharger doesn't say what brand it says intercooler probably came with your supercharger kit one would hope it says head work doesn't say what he did it says headers doesn't say what brand cam okay they are single cam, so he does kind of got that one, right? And then it says 675 horsepower. I do see your supercharger, and I did see your intercooler. So we could check those two boxes. Can't verify any head work, and I can't verify the cams, um, nor the horsepower. But that is a big pulley. Now, I know LSs do make good power, but that's a pretty big Ferris wheel you got strapped to that bad boy. So 675, maybe crank? Maybe? Maybe 600 wheel? Seems more likely. Which would still be plenty of fun, but you kind of sound like a fucking idiot when you're writing out on a build list and you just put supercharger, intercooler, head work, and camp. Like, look at this shit. Okay? Chris, show him this. Great A idiot. You also ain't going nowhere on those fucking rubber bands. Go get some new tires. Why are your fronts thicker than your rears? 
We'll do a couple more. Oh, this one already looks like it's going to be hard to fucking roast. It's a 1983 Camaro Z28. It has a 350 small block swapped from a 76 C10. Oh, it's not going to be that hard. It's a fucking third gen. I thought it was a little older than that. I like the third gens, but if I had to choose between a third gen and calling an Uber, probably call an Uber. This bitch doesn't look that fun to drive around. It looks very fragile. As most things were in the 80s and 90s. Unless you were a fucking Supra. Motor looks great. Not gonna flame that. Rest of the car looks like it's worth $3,000 on a good day. Maybe if you throw in a handy. But that'd be covering half of it anyway, so. Yeah. Next car, you put just a 2008 Accord. No point in trying to make it faster. You got those two things fucking right. It is just a 2008 Accord. And you shouldn't try to make it faster. But does that mean you should still waste fucking money on it and try to make it look cool? I know that's kind of what we're going to do with my Accord in the future, but I'm stupid enough to burn money like that. Like, I, I'm still burning money on my Mustang to this day, and I'm never going to see that money again. But this just kind of sounds like you're admitting that it's kind of fucking lame to try to cover the fact that it's kind of fucking lame. Like, it's like you're trying really hard to make it a cool stance car, but at the same point, you're like down talking and like, yeah, it's just a 2008 Accord. There's no fucking point. Yeah, then don't do this either. I'm not saying to swap it and make it faster, but you still did fuck up and spend money and, and try to make a, a cord look cooler. Who's the real loser? He said he wrapped it himself. I mean, you can't really tell from the photos. I'm like, I'm like sort of looking at it. So, I mean, I, I think he did a pretty good job. Wrapping is kind of a bitch. So I respect the hustle. We'll do uno mas. All right, let's take a look. God, I'm another freaking Honda. Another EK hatch. Is it a hatch or is it a coupe? Hey, at least I see a turbo on this one. That's cool. That is the smallest oil drain ever. That is fucking adorable. It's like two inches long. The owner knows all about that. Is that how it looks now? Try to make it look like a World War II US fighter plane, even though it's a Japanese car. You boosted a single cam D series? Oh no. This is just wrong on so many levels. You got the wide body show car look, but then you have a boosted D series underneath the hood. Talk about wasting all your fucking money to get very little in return too. I mean, it, it doesn't look half, oh, that's fucking, what are you, 12? What are you, fucking middle schooler? What, do you still eat your boogers? Get that Transformer shit off there. It's time to grow up, Jimmy. Whatever your fucking name is. God, man, that is just disappointing. Like, the turbo got me a little erect, but... D-Series. Ugh. It doesn't look bad. It almost looks like it wants to be an STI wagon. Then you lose me with the decal. That ain't it, Chief. Ooh. It's getting worse photo by photo. I don't know how much more torture I can take. And he's got a little nuke on it. Sick. I can't go to the car show without my little nuke. I can't. My car, it's not complete without my fucking toy bomb. Suck my toy dong. That's what I have to say to that. As if the decals and the red spooky headlights weren't enough. I never, I'm done with this shit. All right, guys. That is going to do it for this video. Don't take what I said too serious. It's all meant just for laughs. I mean, some of the stuff I do say is like based on opinion, but my opinion shouldn't matter. I'm not God. I'm a random guy on the internet, just like you guys are in the comment section. And it doesn't make me cry, so it's all fine. Anyways, guys, if you do want your car in one of these videos, submit it to my Gmail, drewbeacock.clips at gmail.com. Hit the like button. Let's get this video to 6,000 likes, and then we'll do another subscriber roast. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I had some fun. Um, I'm actually not as sleepy as I was, you know, 30 minutes ago or an hour ago from recording this video. So I appreciate that. Mustang did get some new mods. You guys will see that video later this week. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. And until next video, peace.